Hi all, welcome to the section Introduction to Apache Spark. Let's talk about the objectives. In this lecture, we will talk about what is Apache Spark and Apache Spark components. What is Apache Spark? Apache Spark is a powerful open source processing engine which is built around speed, ease of use and sophisticated analytics. We can also say that Apache Spark is a unified analytics engine for large scale data processing. Apache Spark is primarily written in Scala programming language and it provides support for Java, Scala, Python and R language. So what leads to Spark trending? The first thing is speed. Apache Spark is engineered from the bottom up for performance. Spark can be 100 times faster than Apache Hadoop for large scale data processing by exploiting in-memory computing and other optimizations. It's multi-language support. Spark is polyglot, so we can write a program in multiple languages, for example, Scala, Java, Python and R. Ease of development. Apache Spark offers simple APIs in Python, Java, Scala and SQL and rich, in, and rich built in libraries. Unified Stack Part of what has made Apache Spark so popular is its ease of use and ability to unify complex data workflows. Spark comes packaged with numerous libraries including support for SQL queries, streaming data, machine learning and graph processing. These standard libraries increase developer productivity and enable teams to build robust data workflows with a single engine. Deployment flexibility. So we have multiple options to deploy Spark applications. We can use Spark's own standalone cluster manager. We can use Hadoop YAN, yet another resource negotiator, or we can use Apache Mesos for deployment. So deployment flexibility is also there. Now let's talk about Spark components. The core component is Spark Core, which is the main processing engine in Apache Spark. Apart from being a processing engine, it also provides utility and architecture to other components. On top of Spark Core, we have Spark SQL, Spark Streaming, MLlib for machine learning library, and GraphX. So let's talk about each one of them. What is Spark Core? Spark Core is the base engine for large scale parallel and distributed data processing. Spark Core contains the basic functionality of Spark that is memory management and fault recovery, scheduling, distributing and monitoring the jobs and tasks on the cluster, interacting with the storage systems. Also, Spark Core is home to the API that defines resilient distributed data set, which are Spark's main programming abstraction. Now, Spark SQL. Spark SQL is a package for working with structured data. It allows querying data via SQL as well as Apache Hive variant of SQL, which is called Hive Query Language. It supports many sources of data including Hive Tables, Parkway, JSON, Evro, ORC, and many more. Spark SQL allows developers to intermix SQL queries with the programmatic data manipulation supported by RDD, all within a single application. That means combining SQL with complex analytics. Next component is Spark Streaming. Spark Streaming is an extension of the core Spark API that enables scalable, high-throughput, fault-tolerant stream processing of the live data streams or you can say real-time data. Data can be ingested from multiple sources, for example, Kafka, Flume, and can be processed with high-level functions like map, reduce, reduce by key and window, join, and finally, the processed data can be pushed out to the file systems, databases, or live dashboards. Spark Streaming receives the live input data streams and divides the data into batches, which is called D streams, which are then processed by Spark's engine 
to generate the final stream of results and batches. So the input data stream is converted into D stream. The next component is Spark MLLib. MLLib is a machine learning library that provides various algorithms designed to scale out on a cluster for classification, clustering, collaborative filtering and many more. These algorithms also work with streaming data such as linear regression or k-means clustering. The next component is GraphX. GraphX is a library for manipulating graphs, for example a social network's friend graph and performing graph parallel computations. It extends the Spark RDD API allowing us to create a directed graph with arbitrary properties attached to each vertex and edge. GraphX also provides various operators for manipulating graphs and also provides a library for common graph algorithms, for example, page rank algorithm. Now, let's summarize. Apache Spark is a powerful open source processing engine which is built around speed, ease of use and sophisticated analytics. It is 10 to 100 times faster than Hadoop MapReduce. Spark Core is complemented by a set of powerful higher level libraries and they are Spark SQL, Spark Streaming, Machine Learning Library and GraphX. Spark can use YAN, Mesos and Apache Spark standalone as a cluster manager. Spark is a polyglot that is it supports Scala, Java, Python and R language. Thank you.